So let's move on to travel or conferences and events. Um, throughout the entire three months, you're probably wondering, how the heck am I going to be traveling for work or go to this wedding uh, when they have wedding cake or they have an open bar? Like, I want to drink with my friends. I want to do these things. I want to party. I want to have a fun. Um, here's some fast tips. So traveling and wondering why, what to eat on the road. Uh, see what I did there? Anyway, um, when you're traveling, I actually created an entire guide for this specific need because I'm on the road constantly and I feel like I am about to die um, just basically because there's nothing to eat in certain states or certain cities. Um, luckily, in the metro areas, you have Whole Foods, you have Walmart to go find your snacks. Some Actually, 7-Eleven is a great spot to get snacks at, um, but let's talk more about restaurants. Now, when I, in my guide, I go over exactly how to order. Um, don't be afraid to order, but um, you, one thing you need to worry about is butter. Now, each restaurant, each cook, Anthony Bourdain, um, if you've ever seen, read his book or seen his things, everyone is just loading it, things up with butter. So do watch out. Um, always go for, opt for the seasonal market veggies. A lot of, it's just, just go for the veggies, go for the salad. Um, and don't be afraid to ask restaurants uh, to have your diet restrictions added on. Um, it's, this will help you stay on track and this will help you um, make it through the night without feeling like your guilt, like a guilt trip at the end of the time, at the end of your trip. Um, now, steakhouses, of course, they have options like a fresh catch. Um, but uh, but at the end of the day, focus on staying on track while you're on the road. Um, and it's always easy to go find the latest, uh, like Philly cheesesteak or pizza, uh, or when you're out and about with some 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 friends uh, to splurge on margarita. Let's just hold off for three months. And have and then use these same techniques with the the ninety ten rule uh, to really open up that that relief, so you can still stay on track, lose weight, and but still have fun. Now conferences, events, parties, and weddings. I always opt for wine over liquor. Um, I skip the cake, unfortunately, um, but their meals are generally healthy. Um, I do. There's always rule being passed around. I just skip those. Luckily, some of the set set meals. Um, are generally healthy. You're going to get your steak and chicken, or your um, your fish or chicken. But most conferences I've gone to, actually every conference, uh, they have those healthy options. It's most generic buffets. If you walk through them, you'll see the eggs in the morning. Skip the sausage. Uh, you'll see some veggies or squash with some chicken. Those veggies are probably caked in butter, so do watch out. Um, opt for the salad bar, um, a lot of buffet styles, uh, probably cooked in butter. So just make sure that you're just really being really health conscious. Uh, one of my good friends actually always is allergic to his various things. So like coconuts for coconut oil, for example, she has to clean this, clean the entire, has them to clean the entire slate off before they even cook anything simply so she can have an allergic reaction. Like if she can do that and feel comfortable doing that, you can easily, um, order something very unique at a restaurant because Guess what? You're paying for that. Or if you're at a conference, there are special requests you can put in simply because you have diet restrictions. I've seen it done a thousand times. I do it myself. Do not feel uh, guilty when you're asking for special treatment because one, you're actually paying for it. And two, the conferences are so used to it, it's not an issue. 